In a bid to tap into the exploitation of renewable energy sources, Hydromax Limited engaged DOT Services as one of the companies to construct a 9 megawatts dam on River Wamambia in Buseruka sub-county Oima district. The pale blue waters were diverted to a channel 13 feet deep. The water snails for 1.4 kilometers into a steep escarpment near the power station. The dam has a wide and associated spillway and a desilt basin which helps ensure that only clean water flows to the turbines. The project was funded by the African Development Bank and the Eastern and Southern Trade Development Bank at a cost of $38.8 million. DOT Services is also not only the contractor but also it has investment arm in it through its subsidiary called Hydromax Limited. So it has successfully invested and it got the loans from the lenders. Now the loans are being paid off through the operation and maintenance and through the revenues generated from that power plant. So that is a successful project and it's continuing with its generation for the next 40 years. The penstock pipe measuring 1.1 meters wide is fitted at four bay. Four bay is the like a small reservoir which takes water to the penstock where it feeds into the turbines of the turbines of the power generation unit a gate was also created to allow water flow into the pipe 3.5 cubic meters of water flows to the power generation house 330 meters away we have installed uh, several probes at several locations of the project, that is at the dam, at the river intake, uh, on the penstock and uh, tail race of the turbines, which monitors the hydraulic flow. The penstock was fitted using a steel pipe bending machine, one of its kind in East Africa. The penstock is used to avoid any leakage. The water pressure is so much that it can pierce into human skin. So it has to construct through several seasons of the weather, including the rainy season where the floods have been occurred. So there are a lot of construction challenges, but we had to overcome through the proper working methods, uh, which includes the river diversions uh, and uh, temporary access roads. The water is then fed into three turbines, each generating three megawatts, depending on the need. Machines have been fitted to monitor the water volume, the mechanical condition of the turbines and other machines. There's also a control room where the turbines are monitored. Data experts are constantly monitoring the amount of power generated and supplied to the national grid. Why we need to take the record keeping is to, for, our, for all the stakeholders like UTCL, Umeme, to know uh, and plan for the production and the evacuation planning is required. The station operates 24 hours daily, but that has come with challenges. Uh, mostly in a year we have two dry spells, that is uh, January, February and June, July. So in these four months, uh, we produce less than installed capacity. Hoima district gets its power from a 33 kilowatt power line that is 46 kilometers away. From 2013, the power supply and power fluctuations in Hoima changed, you know, changed for the better. Hoima power supply stabilized. Uh, we had gone through a time when there would be no power in Hoima for more than a week. Kabalega Power Station, located along River Wamambia in Hoima district, is a hydroelectric power project that is one of a kind in East Africa. Okay.